Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given integral. Fine, I'm going to go a bit slow because I know that many of you struggle in integration. Fine. Now, here our question is integral 2x plus 5 divided by under root of a quadratic equation, a quadratic expression. Fine. Now, see, whenever you are given such kind of questions, the first step is, the first step is to write the numerator as derivative of this derivative of uh, x square minus 2x plus 10 plus something this is the first step okay this is the first step whenever you are given something like that okay we need to take let 2x plus 5 equal to a into derivative of this plus b this is the first step this is the method which we use to solve now what will happen if we do this you will understand as we proceed fine now 2x plus 5 is nothing but see derivative of x square is 2x derivative of minus 2x is nothing but minus 2 because derivative of x is 1 minus 2 is a constant so and derivative of 10 is 0 derivative of any constant is 0 and then I have plus 10 I mean sorry I mean I'm sorry I have plus b fine now next just multiply 2ax minus 2a plus b okay now on comparing the coefficients of x and you know constants comparing the coefficients of x and constants okay then what we get 2a is nothing but equal to 2 beside x i have 2 here and beside x i have 2a here fine now uh, here i have 5 here i have minus 2a plus b so 2a is nothing but 2 this means a is equal to so a is equal to 1 2a is equal to 2 that means a is 1 right so send 2 there so a is nothing but 2 by 2 it's nothing but 1 now minus 2a plus b equal to 5 so minus 2 into 1 plus b equal to 5 because a is 1 so minus 2 plus b equal to 5 b equal to 7 i hope everything is clear so my first objective was to find out this a and b fine now so a is nothing but 1 and uh, b is nothing but 7 that's what i'm going to put so my 2x plus 5 is nothing but 1 into derivative of x square minus 2x plus 10 plus 7 fine that's what i got now what is our given integral given integral is this now what is 2x plus 5 2x plus 5 is nothing but this derivative of 1 into anything is the same thing so i get derivative of x square minus 2x plus 10 plus 7 by this okay fine now next next now what i'm going to do is i'm going to you know you see I'll, then you'll understand i split them and i and i'm integrating separately like integral derivative of this by denominator 7 is there 7 i am taking separately 7 by root this dx fine now why i am doing you will understand now see if you will integrate these if you will integrate this once if you will integrate this in one step it will not look that good it you know the uh, it won't look that good then what i would suggest is integrate these two separately take this first integral as i1 take this second integral as i2 and then integrate fine at the end we can just club them i1 plus i2 the final integral fine so take i1 as this integral integral derivative of x square minus 2x plus 10 by root fine now in indefinite integration there is a property what does that state is that whenever whenever it is there in the textbook if you want you can check whenever there is an integral which is of the form derivative of f of x by root of f of x you see it's exactly matching here i have derivative of x square minus 2x plus 10 divided by under root of x square minus 2x plus 10 so derivative of function divided by root of that function so it's exactly matching my f of x is nothing but x square minus 2x plus 10 fine now this is nothing but 2 root f of x plus c so i'd get 2 into root f of x is x square minus 2x plus 10 plus c here i'm taking c1 okay because my i1 is you know i am taking it as i1 so constant i'm taking it as c1 fine so my first integral is done now next my say my this is my i2 this is my i2 i2 is equal to integral 7 by under root x square minus 2x plus 10 x now now listen this will be a little tricky so please be more attentive i need i know that you are attentive you are watching this video up till now i know that you are serious about learning but still i expect some more of your attention fine see the 7 is a constant i have kept it outside the integral 
okay dx i kept it here now uh this 2x i'm going to write it as 2 into x into 1 why see this denominator it's there now i want to make it as something some perfect square plus some other other square perfect square plus perfect square that's what i want to make now how i'm going to do it stay tuned see uh here i have uh, 2 into x into 1 now if you observe it if you observe it here this is something like a square minus 2 into a b a square minus 2 a b a square this is something like a square minus 2 a b now what do i need to complete the square i need plus b square i need plus b square and then i can just do minus b square to neutralize because you cannot bring in something right in mathematics you can you always need to you know compensate for that so this i uh, so here my b is one so i'm just going to add and subtract one square now what will happen what will happen observe these first three terms this is nothing but a square minus 2 a b plus b square the first three terms a square minus 2ab plus b square fine okay now this would be nothing but a minus b whole square this is nothing but uh, a x minus 1 whole square now minus 1 square is nothing but minus 1 and then plus 10 minus 1 plus 10 is plus 9 fine now 9 9 how can i write it as something perfect square 9 i can write it as 3 square 9 i can write it as 3 square fine now what is the purpose what is the use of you know writing it like this there is a very big use in integration there is a formula for this integral dx by x square plus a square integral dx by x square plus a square is nothing but sin h inverse of x by a plus constant it is nothing but sin h inverse of x by a plus constant now compare now compare here here in place of x i have x minus 1 so that's why i have x minus 1 by a here is 3 that's all right it's pretty simple that's it you know integration is almost done okay it's nothing but sin h sin h inverse of x minus 1 by 3 fine and then i'm taking the constant as c2 okay see if if you were to do all this in one line you could do but you know my suggestion is always to do separately so because it looks good okay now next see this integration this integration is nothing but equal to i1 plus i2 why because see see okay where was i see see this i took it as i1 this i took it as i2 so this integral is nothing but equal to i1 plus i2 so that's what i'm gonna get so uh fine yeah this integral is nothing but i1 plus i2 so i1 what i got 2 under root this plus c1 and i2 i got this now c1 plus c2 take it as c c1 plus c2 i take it as c that's it this is the answer which is given in the textbook and we got that okay thank you very much for staying with me up till now in case you like this video please hit the like button like button it would encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it okay and uh, not just this question i have made questions related to reduction formulae and uh, you know some other topics as well of definite integration indefinite integration and uh, circles also a few questions and some questions from differential equations so please check out my channel for a few more questions you can go to the playlist section or you could go to the video section to find more videos right? once again thank you very much